The passage of time do terrify me because about 20 minutes ago, I realized it's been over three months since I did a video on Heathers. That feels unacceptable. I don't like that that's a thing that happened because I could have sworn I filmed that last week. I actually really enjoyed all the songs I listened to from Heathers before and I wonder if we're gonna get, you know, a little bit of, little bit of stabby stabby death death in this one. Because I don't think we got any death in the last one. Unless we did and it was just so subtle I didn't realize. Before we start I thought I'd let you know that I have a Patreon. You can get all kinds of cool perks over there including uncut reaction once per week. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in the link will be in the description below. The first one we're gonna listen to is called Meant To Be Yours. That sounds a little bit romantic for this. I'm already suspicious. I don't, I don't believe it. Forgiven, baby. Come on, get dressed. You're my date to the pet rally tonight. I don't actually remember whether JD was someone that we should like. Actually, you know what? I just read ahead and I saw some of the lyrics and um, I guess not. I was trash for that. You should be dead. But, but, but. You should be dead. Dead for treating me like I was trash. Oh my lord. They're keeping you away from me. They made you blind. Man. Why does this feel so manipulative? Feels like a, a like an abusive relationship. I fell apart, I punched the wall and cried. Bam, bam, bam. That is something that I have loved about Heather so far. The way they incorporate essentially onomatopoeia into the lyrics and the beat. Because that bam, bam, bam came in on the perfect count. And it also just helps to give this like, I don't know, realistic-ish vibe to it. It makes you feel a bit more engrossed in the song. And Seth who all that true bullshit inside. And so I built a bomb. Okay, that's not advisable. <laughs> Is he? Is that like being genuine? Is he literally gonna blow up the freaking school? <laughs> I thought it was like sneaky murder, not like domestic terrorism. Wow. Really nice flowy high note though. Oh my god. He's almost made me forget that he's gonna commit mass murder. We'll plant this note explaining why they died. We the students. Of what? I'm alrighty. Sign the students of West Are they? Oh my god. Okay, I'm I'm stupid. <laughs> they were saying all that, and I was like, wow. So the students want this as well? No, you you dumb fool. That's how they're trying to get away with it. I would make like the worst police investigator. Just find a note being like, I wanted to die. Well, I guess they weren't murdered. Watch the smoke pour out the doors. Bring marshmallows. We'll make s'mores. This is so freaking dark. Literally talking about making s'mores on the fire of a bomb after to killing all the students. Wow. The chorus vocals are wonderful. They introduce like a trumpet to harmonize with that. That's awesome. Open the door, please. Why was that so like erratic and desperate suddenly? Erotica! I can set you free. Veronica, don't make me come in. All right, I like the build. Hit me with it. Oh my god. No. Veronica. I don't know what that sound is in the background, but I can tell you it's making me very unnerved. It's just something about that constant. Oh, it hits me in my bones. Brought you a snack. Veronica? It's. Is she dead? Is that what just happened? I did say that, hey, I was hoping for some stabby stabby. I guess I didn't expect blow up the entire school and make s'mores off the smoke of their bodies. That was a little more than I was expecting. I've got to say, that guy's singing was fantastic and he did a great job of carrying the number. But hot damn, the use of chorus and gang vocals there just took it to another damn level. There's something about just having so many voices singing together while also having a lead melody that they're harmonizing with that just kicks ass. Now look, I have a confession. This next song, I almost put on the last video. You wanna know why I didn't? I was feeling lazy and it's an eight minute song. No shame at all, I'm a weak-willed man. This one is called Beautiful. I will see you on the other side. September 1st, 1989. Dear Diary. <laughs> I believe I'm a good person. I like the idea of using the diary as lyrics in a song. Playing tag and getting chased. Break, slut. Okay, I, I'm already into the back and forth, but also Veronica's rhythm. The staccato is amazing. Then we got bigger, that was the trigger, like the... God, I forgot how much I loved her voice. Hold your breath and count the days we're graduating. I sincerely hope I get another banger of a high note from her. But I know, I know. So airy. Gorgeous. Hey, are you okay? Get away, nerd! Oh, okay. Break, the offbeat snare hits giving me life. Take my diploma, 
then I can blow this town. How does she do that, like, roti vibrato so well? Third year as linebacker and eighth year of smacking lunch trays and being a huge dick. <laughs> you skink. Ah, nothing. No, commit. Don't pull out. If you're gonna call someone a huge dick to their face, just, you, you know, push through. Commit. Do it. Why not? I pray. Even more churchy chorus vocals. We on for movie night? Yeah, you're on Jiffy Pop detail. What on God's earth is a Jiffy Pop? Oh, it's a popcorn rat. Oh, well that's that's boring. Oh, it's the one you see in movies all the time. They do it on the stove. I can't say I've ever seen that in real life. Martha Dump Truck! One load! Literally forgot that they called her Martha Dump Truck. You're a high school has been waiting to happen. A future gas station attendant. Wow! She went for the damn throat! Why do they hate me? Why don't I fight back? Why do I act like Oh, so wow. That is such a freaking cool technique. So I know that so far Heathers has kind of really played a lot with the call and response style, but that's like another level because she's got this long underlying note that in itself is impressive to hold, by the way. But then you've got these like candid thoughts of all these students coming over the top. And it's such an interesting way to show that like everybody has their own insecurities. <sighs> Why is it so orchestral? I love that. They're solid Teflon. Never bothered. Never harassed. Talk singing is one of the best things, and it's being utilized so well here. I'd like to kidnap a Heather and photograph her naked in an abandoned warehouse and leave her tied up for the rats. Okay! Maybe this is a hot take, and to be fair, I don't know how awful the Heathers are. But even if they're like mean bullies, and even if they say some awful stuff, maybe kidnapping one, photographing her naked in an abandoned warehouse, and then leaving her tied up for the- You know what? That might be- I'm just gonna say it. Little too far. Someone bullied me so I killed them is uh, not the take I think that they think it is. Perhaps you didn't hear the bell over all the vomiting. You're late for class. Would the teacher really just not give a shit? Oh my god. Why is everyone in this awful? I see you're all listed. Hurry up and get where you're going. So Veronica's helping them to try to, what, get a social lift? And a symmetrical face. If I took a meat cleaver down the center of your skull, I'd have matching so, uh, are, are the Heathers murderers? Because that's the vibe I'm getting. Let's make her beautiful. Let's make her make her beautiful. Oh. Oh. Harmonies and high notes. All I need in my life ever. Heather, Heather, Heather. <laughs> I like how vaguely they're referencing it. They're like, who the hell's that? Oh, let her carry it, come on. The cracks to her voice are so, so good. I might be beautiful. High note. It's a beautiful oh man. Not as high as I thought, but it's a great note. Never mind, there she goes. Oh my lord, what an ending. That honestly did a fantastic job of setting up and telling a story, but also gave me so much context for the rest of the musical. I feel like now to an extent at least, I actually, actually understand what the musical's about. I feel like I further understand Veronica as a character and what she wants. And that's really impressive because having a great song is one thing, but having a great song that establishes and furthers character is a whole other realm. I loved that, I was absolutely here for it. And like I said, it was a banger of an ending. The next one we're gonna listen to is called 17. It's a cool intro already. But that does not make us wise. We're not special. We're not different. Is this the ending-ish song? Because as far as lyrics go, this feels like a different side of her. The idea that being damaged doesn't make you wise is really, really cool. But also, yeah, they don't get to choose who live or dies. Might be a controversial opinion. Don't bomb a school. Sneak a beer and watch TV. We'll bake brownies. That's some discordant notes, wow. That's not something you see used enough in my opinion. It's such a cool technique and can make someone feel uneasy even when like everything seems fine. <laughs> Man, that's gorgeous. Also, the fact that Veronica has had so many different sections where she plays with rhythm, having her have these long held flowy notes, hits differently as far as composition goes, but also gives this whole other side to her character. It feels a lot more gentle, if that makes sense. We'll go camping, play some poker, and we'll eat some chili fries. The whole thing is so flowy, it's nice. In my eyes. Your eyes. 
Oh my god, okay, damn. JD's rundown blew my mind for a hot second there. Excuse me? Why did they sound so good harmonizing? Oh, half this song is just gonna be me like freaking out. This is so good. The music is contrasting the voices really well too. Like I said, you have the voices flowing, but the music is coming in on all these different beats. It feels a bit more erratic, but it's tied down by the vocals. Oh, I just don't feel like many people would make these choices when writing this song, and I love it. Like I said, it's giving this other whole feel to the characters. Like they're actually kind of likable right now. <laughs> It feels so damn sad, which is fascinating to me because at the start of this video, they were talking about blowing up all the students. And yet somehow, some freaking how, they ended up feeling at least somewhat sympathetic to me. I think maybe it's the fact that the characters are acknowledging or at least somewhat understanding of the mistakes they've made and are sort of like, maybe, maybe we could have handled ourselves differently. It's not as though it makes everything okay, but it lets me see and understand some character growth. The last one we're gonna listen to, not gonna lie, tremendously excited for. My favorite song in the previous Heather's video was Dead Girl Walking. And then I found out there's a reprise of it. So this is Dead Girl Walking, reprise. Oh my God, I already, I, I'm already here for the attitude. I let his anger fester and infect me. Okay, so it seems like she definitely feels like she's gone too far. I mean, hell, the lyrics here even say that she thinks she deserves to die. That's something. And the monster I created. Oh, her vibrato is ridiculous. They're starting with such strong notes. Where are they gonna go with it? Jason Dean told me you've just committed suicide. Yeah. <laughs> The casual, like, oh, he's wrong about a lot of things, especially me committing suicide. Hey, The students all singing together, first off, sounds awesome, but makes the students feel like a character. It's not just, oh, a bunch of random students you don't care about. It's like the student body is its own character. They literally feel like their own collective conglomerate with their own thoughts and feelings. Step away from the bomb. Oh, she's going to stop him. This is just to trigger the packs of thermals upstairs in the gym. The guitar makes things so tense. But because that school was society. We live in a society. <laughs> I wish your mom had been a little stronger. I love this melody so much, I can't even express. I wish we'd met before they convinced you life is war. Hit me with a high note, please. I wish I had more TNT. Does the school actually explode? Surely not, right? The dancey speed up? Oh my god, they went double time. It just ended with it saying they're gonna, and then it went bang. So the the bomb went off. Man, I I don't, I don't even I don't even know anymore. I am gonna guess that the bomb doesn't go off. I feel like that's not how it ends unless everyone dies and then also Veronica and JD die. I, I don't know. What it does mean, I guess, is that if you want, I have to do a third Heather's video just to find out whether the damn school blew up. But I think 17 was my favorite in this. It was really solid with some. Freaking gorgeous harmonies. And as you all know, I am an absolute sucker for that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya. But I don't go, yeah.